This is Iron Maths, it's practice paper F. We're working on question three in the calculator paper. Right, what, what we've got here is we've give, been given that uh, P is equal to 2i plus j plus 3k and Q is equal to i minus 3j minus k. Find the angle between P and Q. Okay, so vectors question here. And we've given the vectors in the i, j, k format. So if you're not used to seeing that, what we'll do is we'll write down the vectors in component form so you can see what they are. So I've got two there, that'll be a two. I've got one j, one, and I've got three for k there. So there's a, there is in component form for p. For q, if I write that in component form, I've got one for i, minus three, for j, and minus one for k. And remember, if any of these, uh, these are missing, it would be a, a value of zero in component form that we would have to do from there. Right, so, so what we're doing here is we're trying to work out the angle that's going to be in between the vector p and the vector q. And remember the vectors are always pointing away from the angle that we're trying to work out. So from the vertex, the vectors pointing out the way, always. In this one we don't need to do any work uh, to that extent. Right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be writing down the formula to work out the angle between P and Q. And where I'd find that uh, formula would be on the formula list here. And the angle formula is here. It's buried in the scalar product uh, formula list. And then here, if I wanted to get cosine theta on its own, I would just divide each side by the magnitude of A and the magnitude of B. And that would leave me with cosine theta is equal to A dot B or the scalar product on the top, and on the bottom, it would be the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. Right, so let's go ahead and write that down. So the formula I'm going to work with is cosine theta is going to be equal to, so instead of A and B, I'm going to use the P and the Q. Okay, so I've got P dot Q, and that's all going to be over the magnitude of P and the magnitude of Q. Okay, so there's my vectors. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in the values. I'm going to keep everything together. You may calculate it separately if you like. I'm just going to keep it all together. So P dot Q is a scalar product. And again, if I want to find out the scalar product, I can look at the formula list. And I can see A dot B is going to be equal to this formula here, where I multiply the X components, add together the Y components multiplied together, and the Z components multiplied. Okay, so I've got it all there in the formula list. Right, so here we've got uh, on the uh, numerator, it will be 2 times 1, plus 1 times minus 3, plus 3 times minus 1. So that there on the top is the scalar product. On the denominator, what we're going to do is we're going to take the magnitude of A. So it's going to be or the magnitude of P, which will be 2, 1 and 3. What we'll do is I'll square them and add them together. On here, I'll do the magnitude, and in the formula list it would be B. Here we've got Q, so I'll go for 1 squared, plus minus 3 squared, plus minus 1 squared. Just be very careful with the negative signs here, and make sure that you're squaring out the negative, and then you're adding them up, okay? Right, so on the top there, I've got 2, I've got minus 3, and plus another minus 3, so that's going to give me minus 4 on the numerator. And on the denominator, what we've got there is we've got 4 plus 1 plus uh, 9. 4 plus 1 plus 9 will give me the square root of 14. And on this side here, I've got 1 plus another 1 plus 9. So that's going to give me root 11. Yeah. Okay, so, so from there, I've been working out what cosine theta is. From here, I'm going to work out what uh, theta is on the calculator. So it's going to be cosine, the inverse cosine, of, and what we'll go for is we'll go for minus 4. We'll just put the whole thing into the calculator, and that's going to be root 14, root 11, and we'll work that through on the calculator. Okay, so what that should give us is 108.8 .8 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, with it being a, a minus, what it's going to give us, it's going to give us the uh, obtuse angle, and remember, if we were working out uh, using the cast table, 
and we try to work this part out, we know that it's going to be negative. So what we would we'd be getting is we've got negative and that would be round to there would be the angle that we're looking for. Okay. It would be that angle there. Right, so um, marks for this question here. What we've got is we've got one mark for setting up the, uh, the formula. We could take the, uh, the vector straight from this format. We don't need to go to that format, but uh, we've got one mark for that. I'll take one mark for getting the scalar product on the numerator, one mark for each of these, and final mark for getting my angle that's there. So this question here, out of a total of five marks.